progression that our players made over the summer, now seeing five on five settings in practice and see the improvement they made and our programs made and excited about this team, obviously with a, a lot of returners, in particular our two leading scores from a year ago and two of the top um, scores in our league and Cedric Assessor and Medina Muhammad. Having those two kids back um, really helps a lot. You can see a big difference in practice with the experience, in particular in the guard spots um, from, um, from the past this time of year. So exciting time for us. We're ready to get going. Um, freshmen are doing really well. Our class, um, incoming class, all of them got into school, which is really good. And um, uh, they're all here and they're working real hard. That class was ranked as high as 11th in the country, and I'm expecting um, a lot of big things out of that, out of that class. And each one of those players has a chance to contribute this year in a big way. With the exception of one, a couple of things. Um, Mimi Reed will be out for the season. Um, she suffered a season-ending injury in um, individuals earlier um, last month, and uh, she tore Achilles. She's already had surgery, doing good with that. And then Crochet Rowe is um, still in school, um, still a part of our basketball team, but is um, not a part of our team in terms of participating in practice every day. Um, she's still dealing with some family issues. And so um, will she be back? That, that's undetermined right now. So any questions? Some of these new players, man. I think um, obviously we look on paper. Um, Promise Taylor being six 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 seven. I think they registered at six six, but she's a lot taller than that. I think um, she looks at least. But she she she's the one that really stands out um, when you start talking about a big kid inside. Somebody's got great athletic ability. Is a great wingspan. Her wingspan is a seven three uh, wingspan. She's got a great ability to block shots and score the basketball around the basket. She's not a slow or <coughs> stiff of a big kid. She can really jump. I'm talking about a kid that can, can drop step and grab the rim with both hands. Um, I think she, she'll have the chance to do something real special this season for us from a post position. China Nixon is um, great. Is one of the top three players in the country coming out of high school last year out of Philadelphia. State player here in Pennsylvania. Um, that's a big time basketball state and uh, for her to be able to, um, to come here to get her to come here that's something big for us it's a big recruiting um, get for us and uh, she's doing really well gets better every single day uh, about a 5 11 6 15 player that can really score she's got the ability to be able to learn from two really good players that have got experience in this league she looks through it every every day she gets better and then denisha banks um, is another freshman that's a four player that brings a lot of shooting ability that we haven't had in that spot Barbara Johnson's a uh, point guard from junior college. She was one of the top rated junior college players in the country. Um, she may be the quickest player I've ever coached. Um, she is the quickest by far on our team. She's the quickest that I've had. When I was at Kentucky, she's quicker than any of those kids too. So um, it's exciting to see her in the open floor. I got to slow her down a little bit because when we get in the half court, she's got to run a little offense. But um, in the open floor, she's really good. So all of them, I think, will do something real special. Coach, what do you see for us? Expect out of Shelby, you know, not to have a Taylor out there this year, kind of rotate around down the center. Um, you know, I think we're better in that spot. Um, I think they can do um, more. They can play longer minutes. Um, Shelby uh, had um, surgery this summer on her knee. Um, she's just now getting back going a little bit, but she looks good in what she's doing. And then Promise in there, I think we have two really good fives. Uh, um, CC Mahate who made a lot of strides this summer playing overseas with uh, with the Spanish national team. I expect her to do a lot. Um, and so I, I feel like we're really, I think we're a lot better in that position. I think we're better in every position. Um, I think our depth, our kids are starting to grow up. They're getting older. Um, we've been playing with a lot of young kids and took some lumps here and there, but we won some big games during that time. But um, I like I like every one of them. I like our depth. I like where we're at. I like our starters. I like the kids backing them up. I really feel like we, we can go nine or ten deep with SEC level players that can beat anybody on any given night on our basketball team. This team has a chance to do something real special. We have to stay healthy, but at the five spot, I like all three of them down there. You, you may have just answered this, but this yeah. time last year, you were talking about the same confidence that <coughs> yeah. in the tournament team obviously didn't have. Um, just, what, what made you think this year will be different? I think last year we had some, um, you know, we had some, some interesting situations happen with player being out here, player being out there. I think at times we played last season like we were an NCAA tournament team. Um, I think uh, when you start talking about early in the year when playing against an Oregon, you beat them a double figures and they go on to Elite Eight. Um, I think that as we got going, we had you know, we, we had some stuff happen with some players um, getting injured. Crochet Rowe, we were expecting a lot out of her. I uh, expecting a lot out of Tori Lewis there, and she was playing well, and she broke her foot. Um, you know, we never got the consistency we needed in a couple of positions, and that hurt us. Um, whereas this team's just different. Um, their confidence level is different. They're the way they go about working every day is different. Their team, um, the locker room is a lot different. There's not a lot of 
going back and forth in the locker room. I think at times last year we got separated a little bit in the locker room. I think it hurt us. Um, I, this team is more together than any team I've had. And um, you can tell every day when we step on the practice floor, they want to get better. I'm going to test this team early. Um, last year I didn't really test them because I wasn't really for sure. Um, I felt good about it, but um, this team, we're going to go on the road. We're playing at DePaul, playing at Temple, both in select tournament teams at Oregon, which is an Elite Eight team. Um, we were good at home last year. We were very bad on the road. And um, we're going to put them on the road early in the year to get them tested, get some confidence, hopefully. <coughs> And I'm just, I just feel a lot better. I mean, I'm, I'm more relaxed this year than I've ever been um, with this team because they, uh, I don't really have to talk to them about energy. I don't talk to them about enthusiasm. They come to work. They're ready to work. Um, where we lack some experience, maybe in some positions, we don't lack talent. But we're just very talented. And our young kids last year, that like, a, like a Kate Rogers and Bree Glover and some of those kids that didn't play a lot last year, um, where this year they're, 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 they're going to play a lot. And the reason why is because they've earned that and they've gotten better. Those kids have gotten better and they've made a lot of improvements. Makes me feel a lot more confident.